Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got the Fun Snap Idle Drone. So this has been out quite a bit now. So I bought this, it says Platinum set on here, but it actually isn't. I don't know why it's in this box. So this is the single battery version without the case. Let me just show you what you get in the box. And then we'll quickly take it out. I'll let you have a look. So, this is what you get in the box. It's actually really nicely packaged. So you get the controller, the drone, some spare props, the charger, the battery and the plug for the charger. So let's take the two main things out to show you. There's no point showing you the... Let's just get these all out on the table. The charger and the battery. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, sorry about the jumping video there, my battery went flat. So, this is what you get in the box. So this is the drone itself. So as you can see, it's a selfie drone. This hasn't got stupidly good range at all. It's designed for selfie only. But you can fly it around like a normal drone because it comes with a control, which is really neat. So let's look at the drone. So, the only thing that holds this thing together is these rare earth magnets. That's it. It's got no clamp in there. There's nothing you have to press or mess around with. That's the only thing that holds it. The battery has a little slot in the back there, if you can see that. And there's a slot on the battery. You click that into place there and lock it in. And that's your battery. You can't take the battery out when it's folded. You can take the battery out when it's unfolded. So, that's it. That's the drone. You can see it's decent size. I think it's around 250mm across. Just over, actually. It might be just over that. It's got, as you can see, what you can see, it's got bushless motors. It's got GPS and it has got optical flow and a sonar sensor. Does hold its position really nicely. Indoors, it's also really nice. I would not recommend this flying it indoors because I have never had a drone this noisy. This is the noisiest drone I've ever experienced. I think it's something to do with the way that the motors are and the ducting for them. So this is the controller. So the controller looks quite simple as you can see. It's made out of a very, very thick plastic. It feels quality. The gimbals feel nice on it. You have a power switch and you have a take off and land button and on the back you've got a camera button and return to home. And then this is where you can adjust your camera. So, like I say, it is, it is a nice quality. It's a shame that it takes normal batteries. It takes three AAA batteries, which is a bit of a shame actually. You think they had rechargeable in there. And this is the phone clip. So that comes up, it clips up again, you pull that bit down and then you pull the top bit out. If I can actually do it, it's difficult, there you go. And then your phone slips in there. I'll show you the app in a second and it seems to work really well. I've never had a problem with the phone coming loose or anything like that. So it does hold its position really well, uh, hold, the, hold it really well, I say. Let's just turn it off. So. The battery has this proprietary charger, it's a really nice charger actually, the power supply is actually still in the box, it's just a standard power supply, and then this is your battery. Now what I will tell you is the battery life on these things aren't great and this comes in various different set various different versions. You can buy a platinum version which comes with two batteries and a case or you can buy it with three batteries. If you do buy this I'd recommend, and you do fancy it, I'd recommend getting the one with the two batteries so you're not constantly waiting on charging batteries. Clips in like that, it's very very neat indeed. Charges up and you get a little LED there to show you that it's charging. So it really is a nice charger. So going back to the drone, so on the side here you'll see it's got a USB port that's because this thing has internal storage. So your video that is 1080 will save to this, to the unit itself, which is a neat little touch. The camera is, is here and is controllable by the controller or the app. Obviously this is designed to fly with the app or the, or the app and the controller, you can fly it with both. So let me just show you the app. Okay, so the app you need to run is FunSnap. So if you can see that there, it's available on iOS and Android. Before we do that, let's just turn the drone on. So, as I said before, it's really easy to get up and running this thing. Battery just slides in the top here. 
clicks into place power switch on the back I think it's a long press or is it a double press there you go I think you want to turn on there and then put the controller on up and down to bind it the same way you will with anything else you need to go into your Wi-Fi settings and select DY D6 whatever that means I have no idea why it's DYD6 but that's the code for it and then go into your fun snap app hit start and there you go so let me just show you how the phone goes in the holder so it does fit this phone with the case this is an iPhone 7 uh, plus it just fits with no more space really so as you can see on the screen it's telling me I'm in optical flow mode that's because I've got no GPS lock in here sorry about that I don't think we want to focus oh, it's got it and then on the here you have your camera settings so you can adjust your camera up and down it's much smoother if you use a wheel on the back and then you've got take off and land as you can see here and on this side you've got camera and video so I start the video there stop the video take a cab take a shot and up the top you've got height distance speed your controller battery your drone battery the available space on the craft and your GPS so it's got eight on there I don't know if you can see that there. so let me just show you the camera it does look amazingly good through the phone so the camera is sharp, I'll tell you that straight away. The camera's nice and sharp. So you can see how nice the image looks. And the lag is very, very minimal. And as you can see, you can control the camera. Now listen, if you listen, It's really noisy to move but it's actually smoother than it sounds if that makes sense it sounds like it's not really very smooth but if you look at your screen it's not bad at all and it's a nice feature having it on because a lot of these selfie drones don't actually have that on they just rely on the fact that you set them before you take off so that's the drone that's the controller the charger and I've showed you the app so what I'm going to do now is I'll take it out for flight and then tomorrow night I'll show you my conclusion and the flight footage. So see you tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching.